manual, and it's entitled The Radio Talk Show. His objectives are to present a positive image of you and your company or organization on a simulated radio talk show. Prepare a talk designed to build goodwill toward an organization by presenting factual information and understand the dynamics of a successful radio talk show. Prepare for the questions that may be asked of you during the radio interview. Uh, his time is three to five minutes for the presentation, plus two to three minutes for question and answer. Madam Toastmaster. I'm going to be given by Gabe. <clears throat> um, it's a good little speech to win the audience and have them like. Sorry. You're in the wrong one. <laughs> so again, um, this speech is a good little speech to win the audience and have them like my organization. Um, it's a little bit of, of a different kind of speech because um, there's gonna, it's three to five minutes, but there's also going to be a two to three minute um, question and answer uh, session. So again, let's welcome Gabe. Um, the title is number 3225 Talk Radio, number 3225 Talk Radio, Gabe Mendez. Good morning and welcome to 3225 Talk Radio. This morning is a special morning because we have a guest speaker here with us. Our guest speaker is 28 years young. He is a driven, hardworking, and intelligent person. In light of all of his success, he remains humble. Today, he will be sharing some information about an organization that he helped build and has helped shape him into a better man. So listen up, get your notebooks ready, and welcome Gabe Mendez. Good morning, Sebastian, and good morning, everyone out there listening to the radio today on 3225. Thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. Before we get started today, I want to make sure that I share something with you, and, and, I, and I tell you this. We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Winston Churchill. Some of life's best philosophers, activists, uh, therapists have all said this in one way or another. And I reference to Mahatma Gandhi, Tony Robbins, Maya Angelou, so on and so forth. That in order to truly live a positive, happy, fulfilling life, you have to give. And you need to add value to people's lives and to make them, every person you come in contact with, better. And today, I share with you that the visionary, the team, and myself all have the privilege and the honor to serve one of the largest communities and most culturally, and most culturally diverse communities in San Diego County. The community that we serve, the community that we help, also ranks as one of the highest rating in domestic violence, low income, poverty, crime rate, drug abuse, prostitution, child abuse, and also ranks as one of the lowest in formal education, and also the lowest in median household income. And this comes from mapping, crimemapping.com, which can also be found on San Diego.gov, which is the website for the San Diego Police Department. And our mission is simple. It's just roll up your sleeves and get to work. Just to keep it very simple, and once a year, we partner with the San Diego Police Department and various other agencies to help create a community event that's all about giving. And what really makes us special, Sebastian, is that everything we do is free of charge. The organization that we're a part of, we go out 
and we minister and we help and we provide resources to a community that doesn't have much knowledge. We have, as I mentioned in the introduction, the most culturally diverse community in San Diego County, period. We have, uh, we have Middle Eastern, Hispanics, white, uh, you know, Africans. Uh, we have, literally have Ethiopians, literally every type of culture you can think of. And so San Diego Police Department has different dispatchers and different community liaisons to assist these, these people out there today. And so what we do is we bring all these cultures and all these people together, the people that are hungry, that are poor, that are starving, that want more, but yet don't know where to go, or are actually too embarrassed to go out and get help. So the San Diego Lowrider and Hot Rod Gospel Fest and the San Diego Police Department schools and the Parks and Rec community, what we do is we host a car show on one day. I mean, everyone loves cars. I mean, we drive one, we like them, some love them more than others, but we have different types of vehicles that are out there. And the reason that we use these vehicles is more as a something to go ahead and get our people out, to get the crowd out there during the, during the time. And so we get them out, and while, once they're out there, we provide free, free gifts, free food, free entry. And once they're out there, we have different agencies disseminating information to these people to help them out. We don't ask for anything. We don't charge the community anything whatsoever. Everything is free. And then so everyone leaves there better than they came. And so... All we really ask is everyone out there listening today is to participate. Roll up your sleeves and get to work. Because the San Diego Lowrider Hot Rod Gospel Fest will be out there. We will be beginning our campaign in the next couple of months. And it will take place the last week of October. And I understand there may be a lot of questions. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open up the telephone lines for questions and answers for people that may want a little more clarification as to what it is the Gospel Fest is truly about. If I hadn't already done so, mentioned it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the telephone lines and uh, see if there's any questions out there for anyone who would like to call. Any questions for anyone? Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> yes, caller. How can I help you? Good morning. I was wondering how, yes, thank you. I appreciate your message. I'm wondering how is this actually funded? Nobody pays for how is it funded? That's an excellent question, and thank you for asking that today. Um, before I begin, may I ask your name, please? Uh, Joseph P. Mogan. Mr. Mogan, thank you. Uh, well, to answer your question, how is this funded? Um, as I mentioned in our mission statement, it's roll up your sleeves and get to work. So literally, literally what we do is the team, is we go out there and uh, we literally just go door to door asking people to, to participate and to donate uh, their time, their services, their food, um, whatever it may be, their clothing, gifts, Everything's done through peer donations. And what we've been able to do accomplish this last year, Joseph, is we've been able, we were able to feed over 5,000 people for free at the Lowrider Hot Rod Gospel Fest. And also over 2,500 families left with, the box, with, with boxes of groceries that were provided through the uh, food bank and uh, other various local agencies uh, that donated to the event. So to answer your question, pure donations, it comes from people's hearts. Thank you. Thank you. How long ago was the uh, organization founded? So our organization was founded, uh, the visionary, the pastor, uh, founded the Lowrider Hot Rod Gospel Fest in 2009. And the idea didn't come to fruition until 2010, which is when we held the first Gospel Fest. And that year, the Gospel Fest uh, it was held at Cherokee Point Elementary School in City Heights, which is the city that we, um, that we help. And so in 2010, it was just as simple as walking up to the school. The principal opened the door. We sat down, had a meeting with the principal. Um, they loved the idea of reaching out to the community. We then took it to the police department, literally knocked on their door. Uh, they loved the idea. The captain of the police department loved the idea. And he said that he was behind us. And the school donated their facility. The police department donated their uniformed officers to, to secure the event that day, to block off the roadways, to put up their signs. And ever since then, the relationships have continued to grow. And everything's been donated ever since. I have a lowrider. How, how would I get it into the um, show? Awesome, yeah, well, you know, we're always looking for more vehicles. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of car you have. We've had trucks, we've had low riders, we've had hot rods, we've had bikes, we've had bicycles. 
Uh, so if you're interested in donating, if you're interested in donating your time and having your car there on display for the crowd to see, uh, you can contact me at 619-876-2265. You can go to lowriderhotrodgospelfest.com, or you can send me an email at mendezrgabriel at gmail.com, and I can provide all the information, the location, meetup, so you can come to the next meeting and participate and find out all the details there. And so thank you for that phone call. And Sebastian, I just want to thank you so much today for having me on the show today and encouraging the community of San Diego to please come out and participate and to roll up your sleeves and get to work. Thank you for having me here today. Sorry.